Welcome back to Sekiro everyone, where we are going to open to more dialogue and more story. In the last episode, you know that I fucked up Wolf, found something, I've opened the library. Cool. Could have just like shouted, you know. Cause the library is like right here. I mean, bruh. Alright, let's go talk to him. Yeah, there is a lot of dialogue here. I'm gonna cut it because I want to get to the gameplay. I'll sum it up, don't worry. Oh yeah, we have this Sakura droplet, which I don't remember what it does. I think it, this is the one that increases our resurrections, right? I think it is. Which is good. That's very useful. It's very ominous. What the hell are they doing? Yep. I knew it. Very useful. Because I kind of keep dying. Note from Crow written by Takeru, former blah blah blah. It said that relatives of Tomo once gathered the fountainhead fragrance and arrived at the palace. Yeah. This is really the key here. So I'm gonna leave this one in. Otherwise, not much of importance happened here. We basically just elaborated on what our objective is. God, shut the fuck up. I'm only kidding. I just commented on how this game actually has a story and that's good. So yeah, we need the gun for Shrine Key, and yeah, we need this to proceed. Still, we have two objectives here. Uh, that hasn't changed. Moron Blade or Fountainhead. I'm gonna go get the Moron Blade first. First, let's go talk to Emma, which I'm doing. もともとは調べた書を薬に私の兄弟子たちの誰かが持ち出した遺体を
まるで根性の私は主の命もはたいつでも起こる不思として。So, yeah, um, nothing much here.、Uh, she's still gonna be our homie, so I'm gonna get her drunk. I mentioned this boozy aunt feeling. Let's go. Have a drink. Like Kendrick Lamar said. See, this is how you bond with your NPCs. You can't give the Bloodborne doll any booze, that's for sure. Yeah, he's just like staring at her. <laughs> he's like drinking and he's just like standing there. Yeah. This is kind of a hint hint, but she knows how to. Use the Nippon steel. Although, how he would know this, I don't know. Because if we never actually see her fight, I think. Unless I missed something. Yeah, this is the bad ending. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers.、Uh, yeah, you, she's one of the bosses if you go for the bad ending. Okay, we need to take care of a couple of things here. The main thing is back here in Ashina Castle, there is actually a couple of items we can pick up, namely a new prosthetic tool. Yeah, I could use my ninjutsu, but why would I? Because if you go down here, there's a grapple point. And beyond that grapple point, I think we can drop on a homie. If I could actually drop on a homie. Ignore that fail.、Um, what up? Much stronger now. I still can't fucking fight these guys. Yeah, you should, bitch. I don't know why I never used that tactic against them. Fuck, I. Ah,、oh, these enemies, man. I. That's fucking difficult to react to. So, where were we? I think we're gonna make this a much quicker fight. Yep. When you get into the rhythm, it's all good. Alright. And the thing we want should be not this, but it's around here somewhere. The Sabimaru. There it is, Sabimaru. This is actually a fairly good、uh, prosthetic tool. It's like really good for breaking, like posture breaking enemies. And right here. Oh, yeah, this is the back of the castle. There is stuff to do here as well, don't worry. But we also need to go to the front of the castle. Because there is actually one of these, like, general mini bosses left unkilled. And those guys do give relatively good experience. And this is the. the secret hot dog entrance to get to him. m a i l 
actually because you can do this. Surprise! All these bitches have guns too. Told you. I haven't fought these guys in quite a while. I mean, this type of enemy. This boy hits hard. Nice kick. That didn't work against him. Probably a out of range. Fuck, this guy hits like a truck. Suck up the money though. Don't want to leave that cash behind, you know. And he killed me. I keep dying, like, I'm playing really badly today. Alright, killing your last minion. Can have, like, a proper rematch. Tear PvP is the ultimate PvP. I don't even know what the hell he's trying to do, but he's dead. Okay, apparently I can only kill things the second time around. Uh, today. That's just how it goes. Anyways, we got Sabimaru, which is really the most important thing. That's what I wanted. Uh, and we can conveniently warp out, because like I said, I'm going to Sampo Temple first. That's like stop number one. We're just gonna stop by the temple and get Sabimaru. Because again, I kind of like this prosthetic tool. Oh, there's new dialogue. Should have expected it. And gave us the arm. We're less anime now, that's the issue. Uh, yeah, fit new prosthetic, and that is Sabimaru. And we can actually create. Actually, we cannot. I don't have the materials. I, I mean, I don't have the money, but whatever. Okay, I'm gonna switch out the axe because the axe is. Oh, fuck, yeah, you have to switch these out, don't you? I'm an idiot. Never mind, never mind. Did I not have a ninjutsu? I don't. We might as well go for one. Cool. That's about it. Okay, so we need to go to the Ashina Reservoir here. Because... Is this the closest one? Shit. Okay, now I'm not sure. I mean, I guess it's close enough to where we need to go. But I think, no, I think I screwed up. Eh, whatever. Because Sampo Temple is... Yeah, it's not this way. Okay. I should just warp away. But I'm too stubborn. Yeah, it's right here. Okay, so I might have gotten... Might have gotten... May have gotten that confused. But hey, 
That's all in... Well, not the plans, but it happens. So this guy with his doggos, kind of feel sorry for him. Because we're gonna... We're gonna kill the doggos. And he's gonna get mad. And this guy's a fucking big ass bell. And he has some crazy attacks. Nice sound design on them too. GG's to the sound team. And he's dead. That's a cool enemy, and he's never ever gonna show up again. I just realized, by the way, on my face cam, like I always have like shit thrown about on my bed. Um, listen, I don't live like a fucking neck beard. Don't worry, this is not a neck beard nest. Uh, but I was off work, you know. I, I was on vacation this week, staycation more like. And I was kind of like organizing shit. So that's why I always have like stuff thrown about. Again, I swear to you that I don't piss in bottles. Um, I know that's something that someone who pisses in bottles would say, but that's not how it is. What is this? Mask Fragment Dragon. And he has prayer beats too. That's pretty good. Uh, I can sell you. I have coin purses. And in fact, I am going to still not have enough for the... Okay. Never mind. Let's get a couple of pellets, because pellets never hurt. I do have 14 in storage. Let's get one. So now I have 15. Uh, yeah. Let's get a move on. This area right here... Is like the most side area side, or like throwaway area in this entire game. The abandoned dungeon. I see, I don't know if this works in this game. I like to think it does. So yeah, we have Zambos here. I think they are actually unkillable, if I'm not mistaken. Poor hollows, you know. And we have this creeper right here. He does have a nice outfit though, you gotta admit. This guy's a fucking creeper too. Whoops, my bad. Just knocked into my mic. Yeah, this is Dojin. A worn and bloodstained letter from Dosaku the surgeon in the abandoned dungeon. Required one tough man, preferably a strong samurai or a, or a young large soldier as a member of the Taro troop. Such as... Yeah, so basically... This is the... Like this game's version of the assassination quest line uh, from like any of the other Souls games. And you don't assassinate people, you just kidnap them. Uh, there is a shinobi prosthetic that allows you to cosplay your catch a predator, um, I don't know, like style and kidnap people. I don't really do this quest line because like in general I don't like the assassination quest lines in Souls games because they're very like they're very fetch questy. That's always my issue with them. Oh shit, pacifying agent. That is actually useful. Did I Fuck. When did Okay. So I get a zero out of zero for navigation. Don't even worry about that. Yep. 
Yeah, the pacifying agent is actually useful. And it's not even that, that difficult to get out of here. Um, just like a straight shot. And that's pretty much the abandoned dungeon. Again, there is not much to this area. It's pretty much this Douyin quest line. Cool. This is where the game starts kind of throwing upgrade materials at you more liberally, which is nice. And we have some people here. If you want to get on that quest line, you can pretty much, I think, start with these guys. Shit, I wanted to react to that. Don't even think about shooting me. Alright. Let's swim on. I realize my... Like, the problem with fucking, like... Playing this, like, dark-ass area while... Um... It's bright as fuck outside. It helps my face cam, because you can actually see me. It does not help general visibility though, but hey. What I'm trying to say is I can't see shit on my TV. And I know the brightness option exists for a reason, but I'm too lazy to do that. I mean, Senpai Temple is right here and That shit is bright as hell. And I need to get some skills. I have five skill points or whatever. There we go. Let's talk to the scroll. This is pretty cool. They have? So we get a free pass to kill them, don't we? I wouldn't worry too much about that. Thank you, random scroll. I think this she does actually stop you if you come here before you do like the Genichiro and Kuro uh, quest line, right? I seem to remember there being like an invisible wall here. Cool. Let's have a look at some skills. I mean, there are combat art. See, that does sound nice. Recover. Hmm. Increased damage inflicted to posture upon successful Mikiri. Oh man, these are too good. Or inhibiting movement. I'm gonna get this. And we're gonna like wait and get this one as well. Because all of this seems useful as hell yeah we just kind of talked about that don't worry I got a sword with me you can I think it's safe for them to kind of chill out Sample temple Mount Congo cool area and some like weird ass quest lines here. Including this guy. Which I always screw up. Because this one this one is easy to screw up. Alright. 
But let's see if we manage to do it this time around. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to him. This guy is awesome. How I'm gonna do this is I'll use Google. Don't worry about it. Cool. Can't do much here, but don't worry, we'll come back later. We are going to ignore what I just did there. Uh, that was fully intentional because I wanted to come here and fight this guy. Don't even worry, I definitely did not like miss my drop and fall down like an idiot. You know how how I like don't make mistakes in this game. You shit bitch. So yeah, these are the Sampu monks. New enemy. Take notes, Neo. Um you can have new enemies sometimes. Anyways, I don't know why I'm always like roasting Neo. I like the game, it's just, I feel like it's an easy game to roast. Bam. Yeah, these guys are fucking like, straight up karate kidding right here. Or more like kill billing. You do gotta be careful because there's like a ton of them around. Yeah, you wanna like turn around? No, actually you don't need to. Sucks for you. Now we're back into it. This is more like my jam right here sneaking around stabbing foes in the back that's what this game is all about they just what the hell that is some bull shit it's you sabimaru Oh well, so that could have gone a little bit better. Um, I was trying to demonstrate the awesomeness of Sabimaru. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, I jumped like an idiot there. Don't worry though. I just need your cash. And let's go down here. I mean, listen, the way these items are packaged in this game is just too tempting not to get them. We gotta like Spider-Man around a little bit here. And if you know the real secrets, you'll know that there is, of course, a secret entrance. Or at least a semi-sneak entrance. Because why wouldn't there be? I just gotta wait for these guys to do their little patrol. Now. 
Not a good idea to turn around and leave your buddies. Believe me. These guys are gonna have some bad times right here. And there is no reason to fight that huge mob. It's not worth the effort. Unless you're like really strapped for levels or something. Okay, I can't see shit again. God, it's like I don't have curtains. I do have curtains though. Just need to use them. Oh, there it is. There's the entrance. I think I'm gonna get to the next Sculptor's Idol, which I think is like somewhere right here. And then we can like... almost call it a day. Yeah, those guys are like chilling there and it's possible to fight them again. But it's better to come back for them later. Finally, the Goken Sugar. Let's take the one that increases your uh, posture, if I remember correctly. We have the classic old lady. Oh, wait, there might not be a sculptor's either. idol here, actually. Shit, now I don't know. Well, I mean, technically, I can end the episode anywhere. Uh, get the cash from the bird nest. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. This feels like a perfect episode ender perched atop here. So I feel like we got plenty done here. Uh, this is an annoying section coming up here. Or at least the last time I did it. In playthrough one, it was annoying because there's some like difficult, difficult. <laughs> I was, I was just a difficulter enemies. Yes, there's some like difficulter enemies here. So I think this is a good ender here. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode of Sekiro here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. As always, if you did, like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications. And I'll see all of you guys next time. Take care and peace out. Goodbye.